Hey everyone, Sandy here with Belarus Quilts. Well, we're now down to the border. And this is a piece border on this quilt, as you can see here. Um, really super simple. You essentially just sew the right and left side on, then the top and the bottom. So what I did is I went ahead and sewed on this inner border. And it's just like any other border that you sew on. I actually cut my... Um, my two sides the left and right side the length that the pattern said to cut it and then i pinned it on and i sewed them both on i did the same thing with the top one is that i cut the length to what the pattern recommended <clears throat> and i pinned it on yours should be able to do the same thing because you shouldn't be that far off and if it's off a little bit you can kind of sort of ease it in i'm teaching you my bad habits but um it, it needs to be pretty close to the same for this outside border to fit. So <clears throat> if you have it too big, you're, this is going to be too... Um, if this is too big, then this isn't going to fit. So it's really important that you try to get the insides to be the measurement that um, is written in the pattern. So anyway, so what I did next is I <clears throat> sewed my my left and right border this one on and then i sewed the top on i let the bottom off because i'm going to show you how i made these so let's get started so i can show you okay so to do that outer border you're going to take two of your squares and you're going to um, glue them on the strip that you cut so some of the strips on the top and the bottom the very far left and the very far right is going to be longer so keep that in mind but all of the ones in the center are the same so the instructions are really good they tell you how many of each to cut so i'm going to go ahead and draw my line i probably should have done that first i'm going to do my line okay and then i went and i sewed on the line just like this always check and make sure that you don't see you know you don't see the white on the back or the orange on the front and then you know that you've sewn it right and then you press it I pressed it towards the outside and then I trim it And then what you're going to do is, <clears throat> I want to show you something. This is the way I press these. Every other one I pressed in opposite directions because I wanted to get that nest right here when they come together. So you get a really good point here. You could press them all open, but I did not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to trim it off. And I'm recording this without the lights, so let me turn those on real quick like. Okay, so I have all of these. And what I did when I did mine, these, is just about every other block. I press one this way and one that way. And then between all the ones I did, I pretty much found the ones that went together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these together. And see, I have two that go the same way. So typically what I'll do when that happens is I'll either press them open or I will just push one down the other way like that and then I will pin them. And I just sewed them all together like that and I made a chain of them until I had the right amount on the um, <clears throat> on each section because you need four pieces two for the top and two for the bottom and on the top two you're going to put the longer piece on the end and you only sew the corner 
piece on one of them. You leave the other one blank. And I'll show you what it looks like. See this? So this is the wider piece at the top. And then I have one on the other end here. And then the same thing on the bottom. So I'm going to sew these together and make my row. Okay, so I have just went and sewn this together. There is an end one, actually goes like this. And there are seven more in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with two ends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of my quilt by folding it in half. And I mark it with a pen. Like that. And then I'm going to take my border and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to find the center. Now at this point, you might find it easier to go ahead and fold everything in quarters. And if that's so, just go ahead and fold it in half again. Like this. and mark the quarters. <laughs> Aren't these just the cutest? I think they're adorable. And this here falls right there on that fold. I don't like to put my pin in there because it'll break the seam apart because I press my seams open. And then you take your quilt and you fold it again, just like when you sew on your borders. I always fold them into quarters and then I will Stick my other pen right through, then I can separate them. And I can stick this pen like this, this pen like this. Then I open it up, and I'm going to take this border, and I'm going to match the ends. doesn't matter what side you sew on. I do encourage people to sew on the side with less seams because I notice that people tend to um, sew their borders on um, wavy if they try to miss the points. Um, you should check that out before you start to sew. That way you can fix a point problem before you go to sew on your border. Okay, then I'm going to match up the centers. Right here. I'm going to put one in between, and I'll put more in between those two before I sew it on. I'm going to match up here, matching up the pins. Back. And put one in the middle, in between the two pens. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to sew this on. Pin it. And then this one. It fit really well. Um, again, remember the importance of making sure this first inner border measures what the pattern says it should. Okay, now I'm going to pin some more in between the pens and I'm going to go sew it on. So here we are, the very end of our quilt. Here's the bottom border that I sewed on. Very cute. And you can see how it um, is longer here. And I pressed all of my seams towards that inner border. I need to go trim off some threads. Same here, all the way around the quilt. Even on this inner border here, I pressed my seams towards this inner border strip. So anyway, that's Prissy Pumpkins. I will be sure to um, show you when it's all done after I got it quilted. It's been a lot of fun doing this quilt with you guys. I love this Prissy Pumpkins and I hope you are too. I've seen it done in Tilda Fabrics. Um, this is Cozy Up and you can get this quilt kit at BellaRoseQuilts.com. So anyway, you guys, I, I hope you're having fun and please um, uh, hashtag BellaRoseQuilts when you finish your pumpkins so I can see how you're doing. Um, come out and join our Quilting with Sandy group too. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and um, I look forward to seeing your quilts.